Hello everyone. Today we have a new job. It's a Toshiba satellite C660. As per customer, he says that his laptop is not turning on, is not booting. As you can see over here, yeah, we can't see any light, power light. So, uh, yeah, let me turn on my as usual, my power supply, put it in 19.5, connecting the charger, okay, I can see a charging light, that's good, and I think the battery is charging, let us press the power button, still nothing, yeah. But to see the uh, charging light, it's a good sign. The laptop is taking about 1.5, 1.6 amps. Okay, let me move it and insert it again. Yeah. But. I press the power button, the laptop is taking current, you can see it is taking about 1.5 amps, but yeah, nothing, nothing at all, the laptop is not, it's just not booting, or turning on, you don't have anything on the screen, okay. Let me disassemble the unit and I'll get back. Now, while I'm disassembling the unit, I just got something in mind why I don't remove close memory. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Here we have. As you can see, a jumper CMOS. Why don't we just make a reset? One, two, three, four, and five. And why I don't put my uh, a memory stick of my own? So these are PC3 and not so these are PC3 and not PC3L. So I do have a uh, memory PC3, two gig. It's okay, just for testing. Okay. After I made the reset, let's try to boot to boot it. Without the battery, without anything else, and the power light is also on. Turning on the laptop, it is taking power, and I do I do see a light power light over here, and the laptop booted. That's a quick fix, don't you think? So the problem might be from the first place, even a scrambled uh, BIOS or even just a RAM. Okay, to be more sure, that is not the RAM. Let me reinsert those old RAMs or original RAMs that came with the laptop. But before doing that, why not cleaning those connectors with the help of my fiber pen?
here's one and now the second one all right done with cleaning now we inserting those memory to their slots setting back the hard drive and also putting back the battery let's try will it work inserting the power also I can see the power lights let us turn on the laptop and yeah you see there you have the power light for the laptop boot yep it's booting what a quick fix now for the final inspection I just removed the keyboard to see the BIOS battery as sometimes uh, this can be caused by a dead or drained BIOS battery it can cause this thing to happen so why not checking the battery yeah so the battery is good 3.1 no problem with the battery so okay that might be a little glitch in the BIOS and uh, we fixed it by ju just by making a quick reset to the BIOS, yeah? Setting back everything to its place. Inserting back the cover. The bar, the keyboard bar, yeah, great. Turning on the laptop. Laptop is turning on. And it is booting again. As you can see, the power supply shows about 3 amps. That's normal because my battery is charging and the power for the laptop. So I think this is it. I don't have the password for this laptop, but it's okay. Anyway, it is a quick fix. I hope you learned something with this video. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and I will see you another one.